It's for the youths. There were no goals in the first half at Ferry Carrick Park this evening, but Drada came close when Luke Gallagher got on the end of Mark Griffin's corner. His header coming back off the woodwork. Jake Highland failed to hit the target with the follow-up. But the home supporters were given reason to celebrate. And those celebrations began in the 66th minute. Great finish from Danny Furlong, putting Wexford Dutes one up and giving them the advantage. And Wexford Dutes enhanced their chances of staying in the Premier Division even further. A super strike coming up now from Lee Chin. Meets it beautifully on the volley. And that made it 2-0 in injury time to Wexford Youths and that gives Shane Keegan's side a two-goal advantage going into the second leg at United Park next Friday. So, uh, Alan, Wexford Youths with the advantage. Uh, it's going to be a tricky one now for Drada to claw back. It will, and I have a lot of sympathy for Drada, Peter, because they obviously had to play. I think the system is flawed in the sense that they had to play two games against Cove Ramblers and a very tough one Friday night in the second leg. And then they had to go to Wexford, obviously uh, playing tonight. I know it's not Wexford's fault, but Wexford were able to rest half their team on Friday night. I don't yeah. even think the manager was at the game against Sligo Rovers. So I have a lot of sympathy for uh, Pete Mann and his Drada players. And that goal right at the end, the 91st minute goal, that's a killer because at 1-0, I think they're right in the tie. But at 2-0 now, it could be an uphill battle for yeah, so it has been a busy schedule for uh, Drawd United. At least now they have a reasonable break until they get Wexford at home. Uh, Trevor, what do you think? Could they turn around that two-goal advantage? It's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult because I think Wexford are dangerous set plays. You see Drawd will be very, very disappointed with how they, they conceded the last goal. The timing will be disappointing, but also it's a second phase of a set play and Wexford are renowned for a long throw and the ball's into the box. So that's an area they can work on before they play on Friday. Will Wexford go? Can they keep them without getting a goal on Friday night? It's a big ask, but I suppose what will give them encouragement is that Cove nearly, very nearly done it last Friday. True, so true, yeah. it's, it's definitely possible, um, but it's going to be a big challenge. Okay. Plus, they've conceded 70 goals, uh, Wexford, obviously, in the league. So that'll give uh, Drawdy United a lot of hope. Yep, certainly a tie that's not over yet. The second leg to come up next Friday. Now